everybody, welcome back to Sapiens. And I say welcome back because um, it's been about a month, but I played this during the scene next fest. The link to that is down in the description because I really enjoyed that video. It was a lot of fun to make. Um, and I was happy when I got an email this week with a review code for the entire game. So thanks to the publishing team and the development for sending a code over for this one. I'm super excited. Um, if you like RimWorld, if you like Clan Folk, which recently started, you're going to love this. Um, we're going to go and create a world here. I had a save from the uh, demo, but I didn't think it was fair to go and start from that. So we're going to start from scratch here. Um, on the world of Nelly Sally. Seed it up. We'll leave all that about. We'll just leave all that the same. Create world. Got a nice little world to start off in here. So the game is available on the 26th of July, 2022. Uh, it'll be $24.99 USD with a 10% launch discount during the first week. Um, and like I said, review code. I have time to think this close. This is a review code, but it did not affect my personal opinion of the game. Uh, but it was provided to me free of charge from the developer to provide content for you all in the game. But now that all that is out of the way, um, for millennia, sapiens have been exploring Meli Selly. Small tribes are scattered wide across the world, traveling, gathering, hunting, and surviving. These sapiens are happy, but they are limited by their lack of knowledge and ambition. Alone they may survive, but can never reach their full potential. You are to become the guardian of a tribe of sapiens. You will give them direction and purpose. Your goal is to encourage them to learn, advance, and grow, and ultimately create a thriving sapien civilization. Those you choose to leave will be the ancestors of the entire human species. Choose your tribe wisely. I want a bigger tribe, and one with children might be helpful because children are our future. Temperate, moderate summer, very cold winter. Maybe we stick with something on like around here for a tribe. Moderate winter, hot summer. You need to get like in the middle of the globe. Hot summer, hot winter. Hot summer, moderate winter. I want moderate, moderate. Is that possible? Like, is it even possible to get that? Hot summer, moderate winter. We might just have to saddle. We also need a tribe that is... I think we I think we need probably... A hot winter isn't going to help. Isn't going to affect much. Because winter is naturally colder. But we need a uh, tribe. Yeah, I think this is probably our best bet. Lead this tribe. Alright. So this is our tribe. Howdy. Your sapiens are going to want somewhere to sleep tonight. And hay makes a decent bed. So let's clear some grass. And dry it out. So it can be used for beds. We need to clear some a grass, like a saw. We need to do five grass tiles, so let's do five. Each one, that's enough for one bed, I think. What I remember from the demo. We're going to get to a point where I don't remember much from the demo. Because I didn't play much of the demo. Besides what I recorded for you. Uh, so. Yeah I mean. Let's see. Let's see. Can I click on you? 
use to store and manage all the resources your tribe finds and crafts you're going to need storage areas each storage area only stores a single type of resource so you will need to develop many more as you progress at least one for each resource type let's get a build menu our build menu up this is definitely i think this has been changed a tad from the demo i like the uh storage area we're gonna build this can put it i'll put it right over here it's kind of shifted into There you go. You can select many objects with terrain tiles at once and then issue or cancel orders for all of them at the same time. This is particularly used for clearing large areas or gathering from many trees. Alright, so let's do this and click select more. So we're going to do like a box select of six bamboo select and then all of those bamboos will select and get the bamboo for maybe i should have done trees that might have been a better idea gather branches yeah ah oh, crap hold on do that and then we'll do boop boop select and do that so we're gonna get a whole bunch of branches we're gonna get a whole gonna get a whole bunch of bamboo so Use to make hay beds. We need... We have eight hay. Or ten hay. So we need three per bed, which means we need fifteen hay. So we gotta keep... Filling grass. It's gonna have a six more stuff. We have sixteen. We need fifteen. As previously established. So there we go. These dudes are getting on it. I like it. Sapiens will be happier if they sleep on a bed rather than on a hard ground. So now that we have enough hay stored, let's build a few beds. We rotate this. No. I think that's the best I can do. In order to advance, sapiens need to investigate the world around them. This leads to technological breakthroughs which will unlock new things to build and craft. Investigate the branches. Become smarter. Become the smartest. We need rock, branch. And hey. What you doing there, buddy? Not why you need wood to investigate hay, but you do you, boo. Alright, so you're about 75% done. About 33% done.
You describe it's discovered fire lighting. Nice. Your tribe has discovered that heat is generated from the friction when you rub two sticks together. If it gets hard enough, an ember can be produced to start a fire, providing warmth and light. It's not a boulder. It's a rock. That's what he's going to discover. I guess this is thatch. Maybe we're discovering thatch. We won't find out for a while. Fire is an important discovery when, which provides light at night, helps keep your tribe warm and it's cold and allows cooking up food. Now will be a good time to get a campfire going. All right. We need six large rocks. We'll put it right here. So you're going to go try and find some large rocks. Good. So we're about to have the rock investigated. Which is pretty cool. I think this is going to be like stone cutting or something. I can't remember. All right, um, rock napping. We need to let, build a torch now, I guess. So we got our third breakthrough. Coming up, uh, rock napping. By using run rock to hit another, your tribe has discovered that the edge can be sharpened and some variable useful tools can be made. So we've unlocked the stone spearhead, stone axe, ha stone hand axe, stone pickaxe head, stone a small rock, and a stone knife. Excellent. Thatch building. Yeah, I figured that one. I guess that one pretty easily. So, Ona has learned the thatch building skill and we've discovered it at the tribe. Alright, so. This is to the point we made it with the demo, from what I remember. When a safety discovers new technology, they become skilled in it. And will automatically be assigned a role on them to complete tasks relating to that skill. You should assign roles to save them manually. This will keep everyone busy and allow you to keep your fo uh, focus on the areas where they are most needed. Okay, so it's a tech tree. Down to the minimum... Like, down, down to the, like, min-maxing uh, micromanagement stuff, which is pretty cool. So everyone has their own tech tree or skill tree. Very different from RimWorld or that of RimWorld where, like, you have to level You have all the skills and you have to do stuff uh, to level up certain skills. It feels a bit different and a bit more unique that way. And I, I like this. I like this a little better than RimWorld. Um, apologies if I compare it a lot to RimWorld. Because I, it's kind of the first game in this genre I play in a long time. And what I have to go off of. But our right, investigation. So you can have six rolls. Crap, I clicked out and lost it. Yes. Um, let's see. Crafting areas and tools. With an understanding of rock snapping, Sapien now has the ability to create tools. 
hand axes and knives are very useful to start with, so your tribe should craft some now. The best way to manage your tribe's crafting activities is to first build designated crafting areas. Do one, two, three, four. Don't not really how I want to do it, but you know, I've had to do worse things with layouts before, so I'm not gonna say anything much. We got a campfire. The campfire is now ours. With the new understanding of thatch building, now will be a good time for the tribe to start working on the basic structures. Savings will be happier if their beds are under cover and resources stored under a roof also last longer. So it wants four stone hand axes. And four stone knives. Okay, so this is like a little tent. I see. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Alright. So I think what we're going to do here, guys, is I'm going to go and wrap up the episode and put it to a stop here for today. Uh, we'll come back next episode and see what all these crafting areas and uh, thatch huts are about. But for now, if you like this video, please make sure to leave a like on it. If you like what I do here on the channel, make sure to subscribe. And yeah. I guess I should also say that when this video is out, uh, I'll be streaming live today on Twitch from 1 to 4, uh, 12.30 to 3.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, the Forza 5 Hot Wheels expansion. Uh, so if you want to go check that out, I highly recommend it. Um, as we stream Forza over there a lot, but this is a big, 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 big stream. We stream in there for a couple of hours, having some fun uh, with some Hot Wheels stuff. And yeah. Like I said, like the video, subscribe, turn on the notification bell to be notified when I upload, I upload daily, 11 a.m. Eastern, unless otherwise stated. Follow me on social media at Santiago. And yeah, that's going to do it. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.